goddamn. <clears throat> the goddamn pozole smells like fucking ass and feet and shit and throw up. Combined together. I don't know why. But yeah. Look at all this pozole gone to waste because I'm not going to eat it. It smells like throw up. I woke up around um, 12, 12 p.m., you know, gangster time. I had to get my baby sleep, and then I smelled. I opened my door, my bedroom door, and a wave of feet and throw up and poop in my face, my nose. And I was like, what the hell was that? So I checked the restroom, and I was like, oh, somebody, somebody took a masa in the restroom. And then I spray some some of this Febreze or Glade. Didn't help. And then I decided I was hungry around one. Checked if the pozole was good and ready to go. And then I was about to serve myself and I smelled the, the odor that was coming out of it. And it smelled like uh, throw up like legit when somebody threw up i don't know if somebody put a plate in he played that somebody drank or somebody like ate from it back to the back to that pot but damn it it smells so horrible i don't think nobody's gonna eat it so yeah we are in the thrust of the Ava of a, oh, it smells like ass. Of a pozole rotting epidemic in America. And it's all nuisance fault. That liberal, feminist, communist, SOB in the California White House in Sacramento. So, yeah, we're starving now. The people of California are starving now. Just joking, but yeah. Now I need to make a plan of what to do now for food. I'm probably gonna have to go to uh, the Chinese food and buy food. And uh, uh waste my money. Eight. You know how much Chinese food costs right now? It costs eight bucks. 840 and uh, the little Asian guy gives me a little bit of food for like almost nine bucks worth of Chinese food which is a ripoff but we have no choice because of the coronavirus or the fake COVID that's happening right now that everybody's becoming a sheep and losing their liberty and freedom they just gave it away American people just gave, gave it away they gave away their freedom their rights all because of this COVID thing that's not even real. And now we're paying almost 10 bucks for a meal in America and California. Californians are usually, usually ripped off. A usually ripped off place to live overtaxed. Everything's overtaxed. Everything. Meals, food. Everything is overtaxed and overpaid. So, a house here could cost that house over there in front of us, this house, this little tiny little shed could cost half a million bucks and only has uh, three rooms. But in, in Colorado, with a million dollars, you could get a, a mansion, a little mansion with like six rooms. But no, we had a we had a we had a live in California. Anyway, I'm about to go to McDonald's or Chinese food or something because brothers gotta eat. Nobody's gonna feed me. No, nobody's gonna save a man. Nobody's gonna save us. Not a woman. Not a robot. Not the government. We have to do all the thinking, the preparation, the hunting, etc., etc. Anyway, thanks a lot, Pasoli, for going, for going uh, unused and 
rotten in, in the night. Like he smelled like shit. And he wasted like nine bucks waste to buy food. Thanks a lot, Pozole. Thanks a lot. Hey, did you know that Pozole, the Aztecs, didn't have pork? So they would use uh, human flesh? So Pozole back in the 1500s or when the Aztecs were around, they used human flesh because uh, animals that we use as farm to cook and eat, like chicken, pork, um, horse, they didn't exist. They didn't exist here. There's no such thing as a cow in Mexico or North America. There is no such things as those animals for thousands and thousands of years. So much of the, the dietary of the Aztecs were vegetables. Vegetables, beans, and some meat like fish, shrimp, deer. Animals are native to North America like the turkey. But it was not so plentiful so a lot of the Aztecs had to eat human flesh. Delicious human flesh. Yeah, Mexico was not like North America, which had a lot of buffaloes, you know, those 500 pounds of meat, like four legs. We had, we had like a 60 pound little midget deer running in the mountains of Mexico that we would eat. So that's why a lot of Mexicans are short because of the so less proteins that there's not a lot of that protein going on in Mexico, so we had a, we became short. And now we're like five feet nine, average height. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I'm not sure if I'll upload this or not. Goodbye.